Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katerina and I hope you're all having a great day so far. For today's video, I have another top five series for you. This is going to be my top five favorite bronzers. Not to be confused with contour powders. Contour powders typically have a little bit more of a gray undertone, a little bit more of a cool undertone because they're supposed to create shadows against your skin. Bronzers here are going to just add warmth to the skin, add that nice bronze glow. So if you guys do want a separate video on maybe my top five contour powders, just let me know. I can definitely do that as well. But today we are talking all about bronzers. So let's jump in. So, first bronzer, and these are in no particular order, but I'm first going to start off with a nice, affordable one, one of my favorite bronzers. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Pressed Powder Bronzer, <laughs> and this is in the shade Caramel Cabana. It is a beautiful, kind of warm tone bronzer. It's matte, but it gives off a slight sheen. There's no glitters in there, no sparkle, but it does have a really nice sheen to it. And this is what it looks like swatched up here, and I do have the rest kind of down here so you can kind of see in comparison while we keep going in the video. But it's so creamy, so velvety smooth, you guys. I absolutely love this form. And this is a bronzer that I also really enjoy, not only to bronze up my face, but it's wonderful at bronzing up your neck, your decollete area. Just when you want to add that extra oomph of bronzer, you know what I mean? So I love this, and it only retails for $5. Now jumping on the higher end spectrum, this is the Too Faced Chocolate Slay Bronzer in the shade Medium Deep. This right here, again, is a little bit more on the warm side, but it has a slight cool undertone in there to where you can use this as a contour shade as well, and I use it all the time to bronze up and or contour. Bronzer that, depending on what brush you're using, it's going to give you a different effect. If you use a brush like this, which is my favorite brush to apply my bronzer with, it really just will give a nice subtle glow, a nice subtle bronze look to the skin, but then if you go in with a brush like this, it's going to really kind of build up and give you a nice beautiful contour that is not muddy, is not blotchy. It's a wonderful formula, and it smells like chocolate does retail for $30, so it's a little bit more on the expensive side. I definitely think it's worth the $30. It is amazing, and it lasts such a long time. I've had this bronzer for quite a while, and I'm just now starting to see the rings in the inside. Here it is swatched for reference, so like you can see, it probably is the coolest bronzer out of all of them, but it still is more of your warm tones bronzer. It, this one is completely matte though, so you don't have to worry about those glitters or shimmers if you don't like them in bronzers in general. But all in all, this is an amazing, amazing product. Highly recommend it. And yeah, I got the, the one in the shade Medium Deep, so it's a little bit deeper than the really well-known one, which I think is Milk Chocolate. I think that's what it's called. But this one is the shade deeper than that. Next bronzer, this is actually a blush, but you guys, if you've watched my videos, I use this in about 75% to 80% of my videos as a bronzer. I love it so much. This is the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Bellissimo Bronze. Now, Milani does also carry their own baked bronzers if you want to get that, but I find this one to work perfectly for me. I love the shade and everything about it, so I just stick to this one. Retails for $8.99, and this is what it looked like swatched. So this one is definitely the warmest of the bunch here. has a little bit of an orange undertone, but honestly, I love it so much during the summertime. It is the bronzer that I have on my face right now. It just adds that, that glow. It's so beautiful, and this is a wonderful product when you want to do your blush and bronzer in one. Since it does have that little bit of like the orangey hue to it, you don't really need to put a blush over top if you don't want to. My go-to bronzer during the summertime, it's probably my favorite one, even though it does have some flecks of glitter in there, and they are kind of noticeable glitter. On the cheeks, it just creates a really nice, beautiful sheen, and you don't see the glitter. So this one I love and really, really recommend this one. Number four goes to another higher end product, but it's still pretty affordable for being a beautiful luxury product. This is the XO Rose Cosmetics Bronzer in the shade Golden Goddess. It is stunning, you guys. Now, I've mentioned some of her products before. She actually also creates YouTube videos. She's a makeup artist, and she created her own makeup line. So I'm going to, of course, link her channel down below and her website, along with where you can get all of these. But you guys, I have fallen in love with this bronzer. It's actually really similar to Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. The texture as well as the color. This one has just a tiny bit more warmth in there. The bronzer retails for $21, so it's actually on the more affordable side of a nice, beautiful luxury product. And this is what it looks like swatched just right here. It's so stunning. It's actually really similar now that I'm looking at my swatches to the e.l.f. Uh, Mineralize Powder. You guys, this formula is gorgeous. It is so velvety smooth. Again, it's one of those that I really like using this brush with and just adding that warmth to my skin 
or taking a more precise brush and just building up a contour. It is stunning, you guys. It does not get muddy or streaky or blotchy. It is just gorgeous, and this one is completely matte as well. Last but most certainly not least is one of the NYC bronzers. NYC is really well known for their um, sunny bronzer, and I actually don't really like that one. It doesn't really show up in my skin as I'd like it to. I do have more bronzers. So this one right here is the Sun and Bronze in the shade Fire Island Tan. It is beautiful, you guys. It does have very micro, micro sparkles in there, I guess you could say, but again, it doesn't show up on your face. This guy retails for $4.99, so right under that $5 mark. Super, super amazing price point. And it's, again, I love to use this for it. And it's one of those bronzers that does not ever get... Uh, muddy or streaky or anything like that or cakey you can just really keep applying it like I have so much bronzer on my face right now <laughs> but you can just keep applying it and it's just gonna look beautiful on the skin and it just creates that really nice glow within as well because of those tiny tiny shimmers in there but it comes off as a beautiful sheen and again it's super buildable as well so it is the last one down here for you guys so again it does have more of like that tiny tiny bit of an orange undertone but it is so stunning on the face and it's just a fabulous bronzer and I think everyone should get this in their collection because it is so affordable and it's a great bronzer at the drugstore. Alright you guys, so that completes my top 5 favorite bronzers. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and please give it a big thumbs up if you did and found it helpful. Maybe you found a new bronzer to try as well. Please let me know down below what is your current favorite bronzing product to use. I'm super curious. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.